now we will obtain the right parasternal short axis view at the level of the mitral valve leaflets, also called the fish mouth view. We've already seen that once, but we'll just obtain that directly now. So we'll go back to the right parasternal long axis four chamber view to start. I'll feel for the apex beat, go in the intercostal space, my thumb towards the sternum, and we're nearly there, we just need to optimize it a little bit. So I'll rotate slightly anti-clockwise and fan a little bit in order to get it so it's completely longitudinal. What I mean by fanning is actually very slowly moving the probe in this direction, like you would use a fan. In this orientation, we can fan cranially and caudally, or in other rotational movements when we're looking at the short axis views, we can actually fan towards the head and towards the caudal end or the, the tail or the, the bum end. So we'll have a look at what that does to the image just now. Feel for the apex beat in the intercostal space and we're nearly there. So we'll rotate ever so slightly anti-clockwise. And that's looking pretty good. What we can do is actually fan to improve this. That's a better view. So if I fan the other way, we lose it. And we've just made a very, very small movement. So if we fan again caudally, staying in the same orientation, the same rotation, we get a much nicer standardized view. So now we'll rotate anti-clockwise, thumb to bum, in order to get the short axis views. We obtain the five chamber view. We continue to rotate. We then have the short axis view at the level of the cordy tendine, the papillary muscles are in view. As you can see, the left ventricle is actually half hanging off the left side of the screen. This can happen based on the orientation of the dog, based on the orientation of your probe, and this is not necessarily a problem because the most important thing that we're wanting to do in order to evaluate this appropriately is to get a really symmetrical view of the mitral valves, of the papillary muscles, looking at the left ventricle. So it needs to be as symmetrical as possible with a true mushroom shape at this stage. If that means that the ventricle doesn't fully fill the screen and the, the view that we're looking at, that's okay, as long as it is symmetrical. What we can do to alter that is potentially move a rib space cranially or caudally, in this case, most likely cranially, in order to get a slightly better view. However, this is not always possible, and so we will actually be able to evaluate most things from this particular angle and this particular view, but we'll just see if we can get it a little bit better. So the long access four chamber view, I've just fanned very slightly caudally towards the tail in order to improve that. And now we will rotate anti-clockwise. We get the five chamber view coming in, continue to rotate. And now we have the right parasternal short axis view at the level of the cordy tendine with the papillary muscles in view. In order to achieve the fish mouth view at the level of the mitral valve leaflets, we can just fan towards the dorsum. So other words, you can fan slightly cranially.
and the fish mouth, start, fish mouth is starting to come into view. If this is an uncomfortable position for your hand to maintain this level of rotation, a trick that you can do in order to make it a little bit easier on yourself is to actually grasp the probe with your left hand, maintaining this rotation, and re-grasp it. However, this does mean that your thumb will no longer be on the marker, so it's important to be aware of that. However, it does allow you to have a little bit more comfort while you're performing your scan, which is very important. And that's the level of the fish mouth. So we can look at the mitral valve leaflets. And we can also look at the left ventricular contractility. We can also look at the right ventricle that's wrapping around. So you will have noticed a moment ago that we went back into the mushroom view. So what we'll actually need to do then is fan cranially to achieve the fish mouth.